queens and kings. Stephanie Takata, aka. <laughs> wow. <laughs> garlic oh my god mm. that was me dropping it low um i'm gonna cut it up put it in a pan with some chairo beans haven't tried these but they looked good let's see it's water pinto beans tomatoes onions peppers salt soy blah 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 so basically it's like a, beans with a kick we're taking our delicious bacon wrap filet mignon and we're gonna chop it, chop, 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 real fine. And we're about to make some ta tacos! By the way, I've never used this brand of shells. I found them at the dollar store. I'm hoping them not, they're not bad. But we also have the old possos. The old possos, the El possos. <laughs> and we're gonna use those first. So let's cut our meat. <laughs> So first thing, you're gonna take your beautifully, oh my God, look at the, look at the bacon. Have y'all ever had tacos with bacon? It's gonna be good. And you're gonna slice it. Look at that pink color. Oh, bitch, you ain't ever seen me like this, Paul? No, ma'am. Not in this house. Look at that. Oh my Lanta. You want it to be, sorry, my cutting board keeps bouncing. You want it to be small pieces, because these are for tacos. You know? Not fajitas. Relax. Alright. Steak is chopped up. Pan is hot. Add all that goodness. I don't have a chef's hat, so I'm wearing a crown. <laughs> and since this is leftovers, this is gonna heat up so fast. So you literally just leave it in the skillet for a couple minutes. Then you're gonna add your beans in about three minutes. Then you're gonna let it all cook for like two more minutes. And that's it, you serve it up. I will show you how to make your garnishes. And yes, filet bacon wrapped tacos. <laughs> the dollar store taco shells are a success. So I use my, what a El Paso. El Paso, El Paso, con Sabado Gigante, Sabado Domingo, Taco Tuesday. There you go. So those are gonna heat up for five minutes. The meat, serve the meats. The meats are cooking. About to add the beans. Let's go. All right, nacho cheese is cooking. Ooh, look at the oh, ah! Meat is simmering in its flavor. This was the nacho cheese I got, by the way. It's actually really good. I got it at the dollar store. Yes, a bit shop at the dollar store and what? And I'm about to chop up some cilantro, some red onion to garnish over the tacos. And that's it. Chop us out, chop, chop, chop us out, chop us out, chop, chop. We want chop, chop. We want chop, chop. We want chop, chop. We want chop, chop. Oh. Oh, yeah. Cilantro, I like cilantro. 
cilantro on my tacos more than lettuce. I used to like lettuce, tomato, shredded cheese, sour cream, it works, but now, I don't know, California changed my taco appetite a little bit. I like the cilantro with the red onion and salsa sour cream. Sorry about my cutting boards, just dancing. Ah, oh, them onions, onions, dancing, dancing, dancing. Cilantro is chopped, red onion. Bada bing. You don't want this, take it off, hello, goodbye, Mr. Onion. Ooh, the onion getting naked, hey. Yeah, yeah, let's see that onion, girl. All right. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Thank you, ma'am, chop it on the sides. And you mix it all together, your cilantro and your red onions, beautiful. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. You want to season your garnish, a little salt, a little pepper, and just a kick of lemon. Bing 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 I don't know what my chopping sounds are bang 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 but that's how I do it all right beautiful beautiful all right and our leftover steak tacos are done um they look amazing the sour cream was a little cold so it's a little clumpy but Look at that layers, bitch. Meat, cheese, garnish, sour cream, hot sauce. Team time! I still have this crown on at the table and you haven't said anything. Anyway, kings and queens. I know they don't look like much, but they're so good. Um, I know a lot of people probably like, oh my god, filet mignon. Like, why did you just chop it up and ruin a beautiful cut of steak? Because... When you don't have a microwave and you have to reheat your steak in the oven, it's gonna dry out, it's gonna overcook. So the best solution is to just bang, bang, bang in a pan for a couple minutes so it still keeps its medium rareness and shred it up into some bomb ass tacos, bitch. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because I am posting videos just when I feel like it. And that's been pretty often. Teen Tahada!